Jonathan QX59321 Sandy hates the Cleveland Browns. If you look at last year when the Cleveland Browns beat Baltimore at 40 to 24 at home, Harbaugh's press conference was a minute long, shortest one of the year. He was pissed. He wouldn't even answer questions. He was like, yeah, they all played us, but he was pissed. And he said something today that really uh, irked me. He said, uh, if you look at Cleveland from their uh, own, uh, they, they they have the best running backs in the league. He was he was complimenting the Browns running backs, how great they are, but he was like giving a backwards compliment. He's like, yeah, from their own, uh, what do you say, their own, um, you know, he was just, ba- you had to see it. I, I'm, my mind's shot right now, but the bottom line, Harbaugh, it's very simple. Very simple mathematics. We have the better quarterback. We have the better running backs. We have better receivers. We have the better everything. You have better linebackers, but we have the better everything else. Last year, we destroyed you. And you got to understand, well, what's your difference between last year and this year? <laughs> Freddie Kitchens. Freddie Kitchens is the equivalent of me taking a job at like uh, some computer company. And someone coming in to buy a computer. But, oh, that's a beast. Laptop box. Beast computer. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's just a beast. Well, what's, uh, what type of graphics card? Just a beast. Well, what's a CPU? It's just a beast. Um, but will it run for it? But it's just a beast. That's Freddie Kitchens. That's how equipped he was to be. He's a position coach. He should have been getting a job. The only reason he got the job was because John Dorsey wanted a puppet. Somebody could say, well, I'll do this, do that, whatever. Couldn't hire a regular coach. If he hired Bruce Arians right now, you know why he didn't hire Bruce Arians? Because Bruce Arians wouldn't have been a puppet. But if he hired Bruce Arians, he'd still have a job right now. The Browns wouldn't have made the playoffs last year. Probably won the Super Bowl. Should have hired Bruce Arians. John Dorsey's still being employed. But now he's unemployed. But, um, yeah, Freddie Kitchen. Now we have a real coach. I know, well, how do you have a real coach? You can't tell him one year he's not even doing. <sighs> Anything's better than Freddie. Woody's gamer tag is better than Freddie's kitchen. Trust me. I can bring Woody's gamer tag. Probably it's not about football. And he'd be better fucking uh, than Freddie Kitchens. Um, we have the best running backs in football. Our backup running backs better than any running back in the league. One of the best receivers in football. Jarvis Landry's the best receiver in football. One of the best receivers in football. Not the best, but he's one of the best. I'll be honest with you. I'll take Jarvis Landry over Odell Beckham in a heartbeat. I like Beckham, but I mean, let's be honest, but this guy, the most important thing to Beckham is one hand catches in pregame. No one gives a fuck about that. Give me gloves. I'll do the same thing. Without gloves, whatever. No big deal. But we have the best receivers in football. Best running backs. And I, Mayfield is going to have a breakout year. This Stefanski offense, what do you think you brought Case Keenum in? Just in case... COVID, all these injuries, but if Mayfield doesn't get it, see, I, last year was an anomaly with Mayfield. There were some things with Mayfield that I got, I got sick of, like, when I feel dangerous, grow the fuck up, kid, play football, you're a fucking adult now, shut the fuck up and play the game. This child is antics, he, he thought he was in high school still, no, you're not, play the fucking game like a man, shut the fuck up and play, but if he doesn't get it done, then we got Case Keenum, Case Keenum's capable of winning 12, 13 games with this team, easily. But I think Mayfield's going to thrive in this offense. It's an offense that quarterbacks uh, notoriously th- uh, thrive in. Kirk Daniel Cousins, uh, they all do. Case Keenum. But uh, we definitely have the better quarterback. Oh, he won MVP last year. Come on. Won the MVP, right? And got beat in the playoffs again. <laughs> won MVP and get beat in the playoffs again. First round. <laughs> Can't even get out of the first round. Chargers beat him. And in games that matter, the Chargers beat him in the playoffs and the Titans beat him. Guy can't throw football still. Still can't throw football. He can run, but he can't throw. And that's the problem. Defense is not how to defend him. Now, he might run for 140 yards on a Sunday, but he's not going to win. Cleveland has a better team all around. That's a fact. You just got to accept it. You got better linebackers. Why do you think Earl Thomas wanted out of Baltimore? That was a planned, executed move by Earl Thomas. He, he knew Baltimore sucked. We're going to destroy Baltimore. Cleveland Brown's going to score a lot of points this year. They're going to have to because their defense with them. I'm telling you, their defense scares me. That linebacker. Everything else is solid, but their linebackers, it scares me. Scares me. But I look for Cleveland to beat them 45-16. to 16. I think Mayfield's going to throw for 400 yards, four TDs. I know we're going to run the ball like a motherfucker. Run the ball tight ends. That's why they kept four tight ends. I do believe in Joko. Could be traded before the trade deadline. Unless he's putting up big numbers. Who knows? Unless they're trying to maximize the trade value. I don't know. But the Cleveland Browns, this is their year. Like I said, this is their year. They have a fucking real head coach right now. And, um, yeah, we're going to we're gonna go somewhere this year. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. That's a great thing. You got Case Daniel Kingdom on the sideline, right? Say something happens to Mayfield. He gets sick. He gets hurt. Case Keenum comes in. You don't lose that much. You don't lose that much. They're basically the same player, but Mayfield is just like a 
he's like a gold player. Keenum's like a bronze or silver player. So uh, you, you don't need – listen, when you have two good quarterbacks, you're good. I know you're saying – I know people say, well, you don't think Mayfield – listen – Mayfield is a beast. He proved it his rookie year. You don't throw 27 TDs your rookie year for no reason. But see, the thing about Mayfield is he doesn't need elite receivers like Odell Beckham. He don't need that. I believe the Odell Beckham addition was the worst thing that happened to Cleveland. And I hope it's, I just hope it doesn't happen this year with him demanding the ball. If it does, get rid of him. Because Mayfield, he made any of his rookie year, he was throwing the guys. It didn't matter. He's just that good. And the Browns would be, I think, they may be. Listen, Rashard Higgins, they got they got enough receivers. But Odell Beckham, just play the game. Don't worry about your numbers and just win. That's all we want. But I'm not worried about Mayfield at all. But I'm saying if he ever gets injured, Case Daniel Keenum come in. I'll be honest with you, Case Daniel Keenum is better than the, the league MVP. No, well, he's a league MVP. Can't throw a football. If you can't throw a football, you want a league MVP because you can run and you can do all this stuff. Can't throw a football. The Cleveland Browns will beat Baltimore 45 to 16. That's a bottom line. That's a fact. Put all your money on that fucking bet. Trust me. I'll be giving more reviews of the NFL this week. <laughs> Instead, we're going to talk about this bandwagon.